I think this is the most people it's ever been in this room, which uh, tells me that everyone understands what a big deal this is. Thank you all for coming out. Uh, I, I see so many folks here that I would like to introduce or recognize individually, but I especially want to uh, thank my colleague from the City Council, Councilor McKee and Baby Tula for being here. Uh, Senator Matthews, thank you for being here. So much. Uh, Leadership from the Greenwood uh, community is here today for a really exciting announcement. Um, you know, when you look at uh, Tulsa and its history, uh, each era is really defined by the architecture and the buildings that were built in that time. You can see uh, really landmark moments in our history when we became the oil capital of the world and, and Wade Phillips built the fill tower. Uh, when John Williams decided that they were not going to move Williams uh, to Houston and instead built the BOK Tower. That represented another important era in Tulsa's history. And we have a really important announcement today uh, about an important era in Tulsa's history. I'm so thankful for the leadership at WPX. Uh, this is a company that is a leader not just uh, in our community, though they've been very generous to Tulsa, uh, they're a leader nationally and internationally. And so uh, it's a great honor for me to get to introduce, uh, to make this special announcement, the CEO at WPX, Rick Moncrief. Thank you, Mayor, for the nice uh, comments, and thanks for your leadership. We really, really appreciate that on behalf of all Tulsa. And so, I want to echo the mayor's comments. We're extremely happy uh, that you joined us this afternoon. We're honored uh, for this exciting announcement that, uh, that we wanted to make. And, you know, I'll, I'll tell you a little bit about uh, WPX. Every year we do a, uh, a strategic plan, and that we look at multiple years, uh, five years, ten years out. And as part of that strategic plan, uh, we always uh, contemplate not only our assets, the people we need, the financial resources, the capital we're going to spend, but we also, uh, more importantly here recently, have thought about where, where should our headquarters be. We don't produce any energy in the state of Oklahoma. Our, our operations are in Texas, southeast New Mexico, and North Dakota. We have a lease in the BOK Tower that actually is up at the start of 2022. And I could tell you, 2022 used to sound like a long ways off. And uh, uh, I'm starting to get a few years on me. These years are clicking by pretty quick. And so, um, so anyway, as part of that, well, we, we felt like we wanted to really do a, um, a deep dive on where our headquarters should be as you start thinking about a company that has assets to develop for several more decades. And that's the exciting thing about our company. We have a lot of 20-somethings and 30-somethings all the way up to some 70-somethings in our, in our uh, company today. But it's real important to know where you're headed. And so for the, we've been looking at uh, the needs of our headquarters really for the last couple of years. And so we've evaluated that. We've evaluated it from a lot of different perspectives, the financial perspective, from the cultural uh, perspective, what our company is based on the community that we want to be a part of. And so we felt like uh, after this evaluation, we've looked near and far. You know, we, we took some trips to other cities to see how our culture would fit into those cities. Because I can tell you, those cities would love to have WPX be located and headquartered in those cities. And remember, as a publicly traded company, our investors, really, they're more interested in, in getting a good return on their investment rather than where your headquarters are located. So it's more important to folks like us and the communities we're in than, than for the investors. Uh, as I said, we don't produce any energy currently in the state of Oklahoma. We may, trade, we may change that one of these days, but that's not in our uh, projections at this point in time because we're, we're very uh, blessed with what we have to do. But after uh, careful consideration, we've decided we're going to keep over 400 jobs right here in downtown Tulsa. Hopefully over time, we'll continue to grow the company. Our plans are to grow. It's either organically, we may have an acquisition now, or now and then, but we have a deep inventory just if we just uh, stay at it and keep pushing forward on what we have to do. Um, so we looked at uh, different uh, opportunities, but we found 
what we think is the ideal location for us, and it's located uh, just north of here in the historic Greenwood District. And we're honored now to be part of the Greenwood uh, District. Um, but coming into the Greenwood District, I think comes some, with not only excitement, but opportunity and responsibility. We recognize that. We want to be prudent. We want to be positive. We want to be disciplined. We want to be determined. And we're ready to get to work. That's the WPX way. We're ready to get to work. We plan on moving in in early 2022. Now, our new home is going to uh, help, we think, in recruiting new people to our company, to WPX. But not only at that, we think you'll see incremental opportunities for current Tulsans and for future Tulsans. And we think that's a good thing. Um, we're also going to be very thoughtful about uh, the Greenwood community and what it represents, how we can support the Greenwood community and work with our new neighbors. In our headquarters, and you're going to see, you're going to see a little more information on it, but our headquarters are designed to bring people together, both inside and outside the company. We've reflected that with a project that has a walkway between Reconciliation Park and Guthrie Green. We've also put the front door of our company's new headquarters facing Reconciliation Park in the greater Greenwood District. We think that's important. It's a symbolic uh, gesture, but it's very important uh, for me, even for me personally. We want to remember the past, but we also want to think about building a bridge for the future and an optimistic future and a positive future. So for us, we think the future is very bright for Tulsa. We think it's bright for WPX Energy, and we're going to be uh, very, very honored uh, to continue to be located here. We have a lot of work ahead of us as a company. We have a lot of work ahead of us as a community. But you know what? That's what we do. We've been doing this for years, and we push forward. A lot of times people have underestimated our company, and we forged ahead, and uh, we've always said what we're going to do, and we've always done what we said we would do. So today as we sit here, our employees, I can tell you, are very excited. I'm excited about our future. And I think uh, we hope that you share that excitement, and we hope that this is truly something very, very special for the entire community. And so with that, I'd like to show just a real short video before I turn it over to Roger Manley with our architect, BB and M, out of Charlotte, North Carolina. introduce uh, Mr. Roger Manley. Thanks, Rick. Um, again, my name is Roger Manley, BB&M Architecture out of Charlotte, North Carolina. Uh, when this all started, Rick and his team asked us uh, to begin our design of his campus, not only for you know, a company that is you know, dynamic and growing, but they wanted to be a good neighbor. I mean, that was kind of the overall design imperative. And as we took that and started to study the surroundings uh, and the history, uh, we quickly realized we had like a really, truly exceptional site to work with. 
The, the fact that we're between two parks of reconciliation, you know, the more reflective park, and Guthrie Green, the much more active park, it kind of set us up for a lot of design material to use. And as Rick uh, mentioned before, one of the, the big design factors that we came up with was connecting the two parks and actually the, the two districts, Greenwood and Arts District, by this pedestrian arcade that we are basically building underneath the building and you know through, and connecting the, the two areas um, yeah that the all the design that has gone into this is kind of a reflection of the corporate culture of WPX the, time and again they've been very adamant about hey we want to be good neighbors we want to just reinforce the fabric of the neighborhood and some of these decisions were reflected through again as Rick said uh, having the front door facing Greenwood it was very important to them. Uh, tying into the architectural style of the community, the kind of modern interpretation of your old masonry warehouse aesthetic, the, um, the breaking down of the massing of the building. Yeah, this is over 260,000 square feet of commercial space, 700 parking spaces, which, uh, you know, at nighttime and weekend events will become available to the public, so it'll kind of help out with the parking situation. But that represents a lot of mass. And we, we broke that down by stepping back at the edges. Uh, and around the perimeter of the project, it's mostly six stories. Uh, the, the tall element, the tower, the 11 stories, is actually set back more towards the center of the site. As well as you know, creating this pedestrian arcade through the building, we've also kind of created a plaza that abuts Guthrie Green. We didn't want to crowd the park. We didn't want to you know, be kind of you know, just overbearing on it. So uh, we now have additional open space that is adjacent to Guthrie Green. Um, you know, this has all been, uh, a, you know, just really reflective of their corporate culture time and again, of just being good neighbors and tying into the, the fabric of the neighborhood. And hopefully uh, with our local team, Wallace Engineering, uh, Hal Van Curen, Landscape Architecture, and Flintco Construction, uh, we're going to execute this and you'll all be very happy with it. Thank you. Well, Rick and Roger, thank you so much. Um, it, um, I also want to thank our, our economic development team here at the city, led by Kai and Camus and Michelle Barnett, who've just done a fantastic job, uh, and the team at the state of Oklahoma led by our Secretary of Commerce, Sean Copeland, who's here today. Thank you. Uh, and I'll tell you, I just spent uh, about a week uh, overseas talking with companies about why they should do business here and really realized we have a tremendous competitive advantage over other states and that we have a governor who is a world-class businessman on his own and can talk that language to companies. And so it's a great honor for me to get to introduce I think is the best governor in the United States of America, Kevin Stitt. Thank you guys so much, and uh, to our greatest mayor in the United States. <laughs> uh, he does a great job. He, even though I don't know if he's quite forgiven me for for stealing his deputy mayor, right. Michael Junk, to right. come work with me, but uh, <laughs> Michael's doing a great job in the at the at the state as well. But. Uh, it's my honor to be here and just uh, offer a few words and thanks to uh, Rick Moncrief and, and uh, all the leadership at WPX. We're so proud of you guys. We're so proud of uh, the oil and gas industry uh, here in our state. It's the number one industry in, our, in the state of Oklahoma. I often tell people we're, we're number five in the country in oil production, number three in natural gas production, and then the other thing is we're number two in wind energy production. So we've got some of the cleanest water, cleanest air. Uh, quality of life is unmatched in Oklahoma. So uh, I'm so excited that they decided to build their headquarters here. And that cluster is going to continue to build and grow here in uh, Tulsa. So having a vibrant downtown is so important. And so I'm just so excited to uh, uh, have you guys down here. As a Tulsa myself, I love to come down here and and eat at restaurants and take my family out and walk around Guthrie Green. It's such a great place and the gathering place. Um, and that's why Oklahoma is going to be a top 10 state. Uh, we've got everything uh, that we need. And, and th as these guys know, they were looking at other spots 
and they ultimately, the culture, the hardworking, uh, Oklahoma was the right place to be located. And we were getting that message out and, uh, with our commerce department all across, uh, all across the country. So uh, we appreciate the high paying jobs. I think their payroll is 55 million and 450 uh, jobs and they're building this with room to grow, 25% uh, more. Uh, so we're so excited to help them grow and continue to work with uh, uh, our great universities to continue to uh, create the right workforce for uh, these prospering companies. So uh, I'm just here to help any way I can and uh, uh, we're so excited to have you guys and, and have another big corporate headquarters uh, in, in Tulsa. So thanks for having me be here, uh, Mayor. We really appreciate it. Thank you. Um, I, I want it. That is such a beautiful building, and I think you've done it in a world-class way. And you could have chosen, as the governor said, you could have chosen any state, could have chosen any city, and you could have chosen any part of Tulsa. And I think it says a lot about WPX uh, that they've chosen to build in the Greenwood District, uh, and that you've been very proactive in reaching out to the leadership uh, represented here today uh, from the Greenwood District to do this the right way uh, in a way that honors the history there and creates high paying jobs in that part of our city. So uh, we're so thankful for the way you're going about this in a very mindful way. Um, I want to thank the Tulsa Chamber for all of your support every step of the way on this. Thank you, Mike. Um, and as we think about uh, again, the, the history of our city in these eras, uh, and you think about what this represents for Tulsa now as a city that, that does honor the legacy of Greenwood uh, with great world-class employers that honor that legacy and want to build a better future uh, for our whole community. Uh, this is a great day for Tulsa and the history of our city. So thank you all for being out here. Any of us will be available for one-on-one -on -one interviews after this. Thank you.